camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this this is the journey and fits in with what we're talking about. You know, as, as you go through life and you have an ego, then of course you will draw and attract to yourself situations, people, events, and circumstances that would be most helpful for your awakening. But those people that you attract and when we talk about relationships, we talk about attractions, repulsions, and so on and so forth. That all of that is by by design. In other words, it's not a random universe, you know, where you seem to oh happen to get this experience or happen to meet this person. How lucky, how fortunate! There really is no luck or fortune involved in all of it. So it starts out with um, ego attractions, but the flip side of attraction is repulsion. The flip side of pleasure is pain. Uh, the flip side of expectations, we could say, is uh, disappointment. Uh, where, when the expectations are seemingly fulfilled, it's like, oh yes, very good, wonderful, this is great, this is, this is going to work out really well. And then when the flip side of the coin comes in, of the expectations, is disappointment. You disappointed me. Why didn't you do this? It's, it's part of the reason why the ego sets up relationships in this world is, is need gratification. Needs come from lack, they come from scarcity. That's what the ego is. And so it uses the environment, you know, like things like mining and, and pulling from all the resources of the earth, you know, to help satisfy its needs, oil and, and coal and you know, all kinds of resources to help satisfy the, its, its needs, and it, it uses relationships that way too, in terms of need gratification. And when you have needs and wants and expectations, and the partner seems to not fulfill those, then that's where the, the grievance comes in. It's like a projection, like, I have this need, you were the one that was to gratify this need, and you're not fulfilling your role. So every time a role has been cast, and then the person doesn't seem to, f to add up to or to fulfill the expectations of the role, then it's as if there's a grievance uh, that you have let me down. So in one sense we could say that the world, and it's the relationships I went through in my life, you know, over and over you discover experientially that when you identify with these partnerships, and you put this pressure on the partner, it's because uh, if we made it and said it clear and straight that, that a partner is set up by the ego to be a God substitute. In other words, it's like the mind, if it could speak, is saying, I never got the unconditional love that I deserved in childhood, I never got it through my adolescent years, and so here you, O oh partner, uh, are a God substitute. No pressure, uh, no pressure at all. You just have to give me the unconditional, universal love that I've never got from God or from anybody else. And you're my last effort, and my last ditch effort, so no pressure, but. So, and, and this is what puts the strain and pressure, and this is what turns the relationship into a special relationship. Because the mind is saying, you know, uh, there may be many fish in the sea, but you're the fish that I select. Uh, so, and there are other fish, mind you, so just be careful. <laughs> you don't fulfill the role. There are many, many fish in the sea. No pressure, but uh, you know, you're a God substitute. And, and nobody consciously meets someone and says, you know, I've chosen you to be a substitute for God's love. And I hope you, good luck. <laughs> but if we could verbalize what's actually going on under the surface of things, you know. On the surface, it's like, you know, this is like, you have a date, you want to make a good impression, put all your best things forward, not tell anything about your issues and all your problems <laughs> in the past. You know, if you want a second date, you would never uh, expose those on the first date, or the second date, or the third date for that matter. Usually the ego says, just wait until you're married. Wait until you're legally bound. Wait until you're legally bound. Once you're legally bound, 
Then, then dump. <laughs>